In this video, we'll be explaining PoE++, HPE Smart Rate, and going through Aruba switch and access point models with Smart Rate ports. Stick around to the end of the video, where we'll also show you an example of how to match Aruba APs with appropriate switches while factoring the PoE budget. Not all PoE standards are equal, and not all multi-rate ports are the same. Let's first look at PoE. PoE, which stands for Power over Ethernet, describes any of several standards or ad hoc systems that pass electric power along with data on twisted pair Ethernet cables. Standards-based PoE is implemented following the specifications in IEEE 802.3AF for PoE or the 2009 update IEEE 802.3AT for PoE+. Here we have a chart of the different types of PoE 802.3AF, AT and BT, also commonly known as PoE, PoE+, and PoE++ respectively. PoE Plus is the most common at the time of making this video, late 2021, and delivers a maximum power of 30 watts per port. The power class determines the range of wattage supported by the standard. For example, PoE Plus Plus Class 6 supports the maximum 60 watts, whereas PoE Plus Plus Class 8 supports up to 100 watts per port. Here's a more detailed look at the power class levels. Different devices draw different amounts of power. The power is negotiated based on class levels set out under the PoE standard. For example, PoE Plus Class 4 supports 4 watts, as well as 7 watts and 15.4 watts, all the way up to 30 watts per port. PoE Plus Plus Class 6 supports the aforementioned with a maximum of 60 watts per port. PoE Plus Plus Class 8 supports from 4 watts all the way to 100 watts per port. It's important to identify how much power a PoE device draws and then look for switches with the appropriate maximum PoE capabilities. It's also important to make sure the devices you are using are PoE standards compliant before plugging the cable in. There are many non-standards compliant PoE devices out there, especially in the CCTV industry. These non-standards compliant devices usually refer to usage in volts DC instead of watts. All switches and access points in the current Aruba portfolio are PoE standards compliant, and all switches deliver PoE plus at a minimum. There are also switch models supporting PoE plus plus, which we'll discuss later in this video. Now, let's learn about multi-gig ports to complement all this PoE power. HPE SmartRate is a multi-gigabit twisted pair network interface that is interoperable with the NBase T ecosystem of 2.5 gigabits per second or 5 gigabit per second products, as well as with existing industry standard 1 gigabit per second or 10 gigabit per second Ethernet devices. From designers modifying and sharing large video files with the marketing department, to increasingly more powerful high performance access points, to IoT devices like a smart temperature sensor, Devices at the edge are becoming more capable and power hungry. Multi gigabit allows the existing cable installation found in most LAN environments to provide higher bandwidth connectivity, distribute PoE power to connected devices, and secure the wired link for next generation wireless investments. HPE Smart Rate Multi Gigabit Ethernet technology paves the way for high speed Wi Fi 5 and especially Wi Fi 6 access points, as well as IoT devices, by delivering blazing fast performance. Smart rate ports are also auto-negotiating, which enables the Ethernet link to settle into the highest speed that can be achieved on a given cable configuration. With high power PoE++ switches, Aruba switches with smart rate PoE Class 6 can provide up to 60 watts of power over Ethernet regardless of the port speed. The mechanism used in smart rate for delivering and receiving power over twisted pair structured cabling is fully compatible with IEEE PoE specifications. Aruba switches combining HPE Smart Rate and PoE++ Class 6 can deliver the speed and power required for the most power hungry devices. Now let's look into the cabling considerations. Smart Rate delivers 2.5 to 10 times more bandwidth from existing cable infrastructure without expensive and disruptive cable upgrades. This table outlines the highest speed available based on cable type. Notably, up to 5 gigabits per second can be achieved with CAT 5E cables up to 55 to 100 meters, which is the most common type of cabling available in most LAN environments. For 10 gigabits per second, up to 55 meters can be achieved with CAT 6 cabling, while CAT 6A cabling supports 10 gigabits per second up to 100 meters. We'll now look into Aruba switches and access points with smart rate ports. 
This table shows Aruba switches that come with HPE Smart Rate ports. Some things to note. The 2930M has separate PoE Plus and PoE++ models. These 2930M Smart Rate switches provide 24 ports that support up to 5 gigabit per second Ethernet. If only a handful of Smart Rate ports are required, then these 2930M and 38M switches can be considered, as they provide 40 1 gigabit per second Ethernet PoE Plus and 8 Smart Rate ports. The 8 Smart Rate ports on these switches support up to 10 gigabits per second Ethernet. Also note that 2930M and 3810M switches only support up to 1440 watts maximum PoE budget with two PSUs installed. The new 6300M switches support 2600 watts maximum PoE budget and come in 24 port and 48 port Smart Rate models, supporting up to 5 gigabits per second Ethernet. For more information on Aruba 6300M switches, please refer to our Aruba CX6300 switch unboxing video. Now, let's look at some access points with smart rate ports. The AP510 series, AP530 series, and AP550 series all come with smart rate ports. AP515 supports up to 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet on port E0. The second port E1 supports 1 gigabit Ethernet only and is non PoE. Power must be supplied via E0 interface. The higher end 530 and 550 series models support up to 5 gigabit per second Ethernet on both ports E0 and E1. PoE power can be drawn from either port or both ports simultaneously. When set to prioritize, 530 series and 550 series access points draw power from E0 and may fail over to E1. Let's now get into power requirements for a couple of models, just for example. The AP510 series requires PoE Plus Class 4 or 30 watts per port to operate without restrictions. When AP515 is plugged into PoE switches that only support 15.4 watts per power, IPM, that's Intelligent Power Monitoring, must be enabled and the AP will automatically apply restrictions such as disabling USB port, depending on PoE budget and actual power. Which IPM restrictions do apply and in what order is programmable. The AP530 series requires PoE++ Class 6 or up to 60 watts per port to function without restrictions. However, the AP will still perform as per normal if plugged into PoE++ switches that only support 30 watts per port, losing only features such as USB port and second Ethernet port. This is programmable with IPM. The AP550 series requires PoE++ Class 6 or max 60 watts per port to function without restrictions. If plugged into PoE Plus switches that only support 30 watts per port, the AP will disable USB port, the second Ethernet port, operate 5 GHz radio in 4x4 mode, and disable tri radio, which significantly degrades the AP's performance. The order is also programmable with IPM. Note PoE 15.4 watts is not supported on either the 530 or the 550 series. Finally, the new Wi Fi 6E access point, the AP635, can run on PoE Plus Class 4 or 30 watts per port, and only the USB port would be automatically disabled. PoE Plus Plus Class 6 or maximum 60 watts per port would be required for the AP to function without restrictions. In conclusion, PoE comes in many flavors, and not all multi gig ports are created equal. Most smart rate ports can support up to 5 gigabits per second. Some can support up to 10 gigabits per second, depending on the switch model. The PoE budget of the switch will also need to be considered to determine how many PoE devices can be supported on a single switch. So it's important to check device requirements and plan your power budget in advance. Let's look at an example. There is a requirement to power up 40 AP555 access points in a new office floor. The maximum, or worst case, power consumption for an AP555 is 38.2 watts. 38.2 watts times by 40 gives us 1528 watts in total. We also need to factor in 15% loss as PoE power is lost and dissipates as heat as power travels through Ethernet cables. 1528 plus 15% is 1757.2 watts. This is the minimum PoE budget that needs to be supported on the switch. Because of the 38.2 watts worst case scenario consumption per AP, we already know that we cannot use a PoE plus switch that only supports up to 30 watts per port. We'll need to look at HPE smart rate switches such as Aruba 6300M, which deliver 60 watts per port. The AP will also greatly benefit from the HPE smart rate 5 gigabit per second high speed Ethernet. 
The 6300M48 port with two 1600W PSUs will give us a 2600W PoE budget. This will cover our 1757.2W requirement as well as give us some room to allow additional APs for future expansion. And there you have it. To learn more about Aruba switches and access points, please visit phoenixpro.club. Please click like and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest content. Thank you for watching.